the more you understand this domain, you understand, you understand it quite deep, not just at the surface level. So let's say a particular domain you don't score 450. A domain you score 600 can lift you up towards the passing scores. So, you know, because you see them in other questions, I start understanding the concepts um, and how to apply application of those concepts um, in questions. I spent most, he advised me to spend so much, most of my time, because the question will cheat you up for the exams. I spent most of my time in questions. Good afternoon, James. Can you introduce yourself? Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is James Oyoli. Um, I work with uh, an international development organization. I'm the head of audit, risk and compliance. I have about 14 years experience in internal audit, risk, compliance, investigations, um, I'm a chartered accountant, an ACC holder. I'm also a certified fraud examiner. Um, recently, I completed my ISACA CISA exam, so I can say I'm also a certified uh, information uh, system auditor. Um, the world is going global, audit is moving from Auditing just through the books to auditing information systems as it relates to audits. Um, so that was why I chose to um, write um, CISA exams because recently um, most it is in most um, demand for um, most employers. And I decided um, that the world is moving towards IT. And um, that was why I decided to take um, the Certified Information System on it. So, thank you very much. The last question is uh, how much time did it take for you to complete this system from scratch? It took me quite some time. I think I met um, Adita Sisa this much. I think I was one, one of his first students. And even if you go through the, his lectures, you see him using uh, Mr. James, Mr. James. I am that Mr. James. So I met him on YouTube and uh, we came very close. He was my mentor. And um, it took me quite some time. I think after I took, I took the first. I think, uh, was it the second one in 2021? I didn't pass. Uh, even I went through Adita's um, um, training manuals and everything, and I didn't make it. He advised me to write the exam again, uh, which I didn't, because I got another job somewhere else, which was very demanding, so it took like one year I didn't touch. I, I paid for my CISA, but I didn't uh, do any readings. Then uh, Isaka contacted me that there's a need for me to write my exams. They gave me a timeline, so I started uh, preparing for my exams again. And uh, some of the things I noticed when I started writing my exams again was I went through the Adita manual trainings. Then I realized that there are some things I really don't really understand in these exams. Even uh, you know, there was, I, I don't think I'm the only one having these misconceptions. Uh, even I, I asked Adita this and he, he, he told me, he enlightened me, but still he stick to the concepts and even you know, the requirements of the exams, the passing score, he didn't really stick. So attention to detail is really necessary for, for Isaka. It's not just for me doing with attention to details, to the concept. So when I took it the second time, there was no rush. I took it slow and steady. I come to understand the concepts. You understand? I come to understand if you have four alternative, four options, and you look at the question. Even when you know when you practice, you know the answer is A. You should understand the other three concepts of PC. 
See, you know, because you see them in other questions, I start to understand the concepts um, and how to apply application of those concepts um, in questions. I spent most, he advised me to spend so much, most of my time, because the question will cheat you up for the exams. I spent most of my time in questions, uh, going through editors, questions, works, etc. Kind of really prepared me for, for, for this exam. Like, like I said, some of the challenges I, I had was not understanding the concepts at all. You understand, not understanding the concepts. And also, I, I think tips I'll give um, um, students writing this exam is to take it very seriously, pay more attention to do this, understand the concepts. Um, have a mentor, Adita was my mentor, even when I didn't make it, he, he was that sweet, he had motivated me. He was just there, like a friend who moved from a teacher to a lecturer, from a lecturer to a friend, motivated me, uh, mentored me, you understand, I started preparing for this exam again and um, I took it. And when I took it, I I found it very easy. I could relate with all the questions. I knew I was even going to pass. Even when I gave one to one grade, I knew I was going to pass. You understand? I'm, I'm so happy I passed my, my exams. Um, and I think um, for me, doing three was one of the most very challenging concepts, which you will find in is also very interesting. I got to understand all the concepts in Domain 3. Uh, I never had any much challenge in Domain 3 was much difficult. But I got to also realize that the more you understand the concepts, one tip I will, I will give students, the more you understand this domain, you understand, you understand it critical, deep, not just at the surface level. So let's say a particular domain you don't score 450. A domain you score 600 can lift you up towards the passing scores. You understand? So um, I, I think uh, that, that is for that. Uh, any last tips for future CISA aspirants? Uh, I think if you go online, YouTube, you there are so many technical jargons, so many authors, you know, they, you know, they, two hours they are done. Adita, if you say you want to finish all Adita lectures in one month, it will drain you, you know, is there. And another thing I also observe, why I would advise um, students to, um, to stick to CISA uh, this much. I got to realize that the first time, I used CISA this much, and the second time I used it, they were quite different. So what that means is, Adita updates his platform regularly, and it makes it very interactive. You understand? So I I will advise uh, um, young aspirants not to be afraid of uh, writing these these exams. So, so, so I will advise them not to be afraid of writing these exams. They should freely um, take these exams. It's very, very interesting. I'm uh, preparing for other exams and I will tell you uh, there's a residual knowledge. I think once you pass this civic season, you understand the fundamentals. It will really, really help you. Uh, thank you very much. I also want to use this video to thank Adita. Um, it was a good sense.